this is Irina Grachova and the Irina Grachova Racing Project. All right, so this is my wrecking uh, with the wrecking of the racing project. Two projects in one boat, and uh, this is a fast net race without fast net. Yeah, well, actually, we're going to Bordeaux, so we're gonna see if they have some uh, wine down there. And uh, however, we're not gonna really get into the city, but uh, so we're staying outside, so probably we, we missed the wine. But uh, anyway, it's gonna be really fun. Uh, we have some challenging uh, weather conditions. Well, yeah. uh, anyway, uh, we will uh, start our race against uh, not very strong, but still against the current. And uh, especially for today, I think we we'll start here a bit. Uh, thinking about what's gonna happen. We have a north west wind right now. What do you think about uh, the weather? Yeah, as usual, uh, here will be a uh, sea breeze, uh, like a thermal wind, uh, which uh, pick up and uh, uh, bring the backing of the wind uh, in the middle of the day. That means uh, after 3, 4 o'clock. Uh, we expect that in the Bay of Duarnene and uh, after uh, decreasing of uh, wind speed and uh, veering clockwise uh, next to radio sign and uh, coming to radio sign for us for protos uh, it will be still uh, against the current um, but uh, for uh, our boats uh, for serial fleet most of them it will be uh, together with currents uh, this is uh, always uh, made specially for a race to avoid the uh, big troubles and the uh, big separation of the fleet at the beginning of race to make uh, the game uh, more interesting so we're gonna have a fun race through the road this time and then we're, that's gonna uh, probably we'll be back on, on uh, telling you more about that the committee announcing the flight we are in attente of the last port Et euh, on devrait respecter l'horaire, c'est-à-dire l'envoi du pavillon orange à euh, 14h47, point de départ à 7h. La ligne n'est toujours pas mouillée, je vous avertirai lorsqu'elle le fera. Uh, the good thing with the Pinhand is that uh, we are closer to where we want to go, but we are reaching uh, the coastline very quickly and then we need to tack and if we go on the pin and uh, we are the first boats to come to the shoreline we have to tack and then we are on port and then everyone else is on starboard so that is not very nice tactics either so uh we are starting up in uh, this is why i put uh, all things not uh, a to start uh, equally on both sides so everything is uh, prepared for uh, uh, tacking start tacking first part and um, uh, after I will put all heavy stuff on uh, one side uh, the correct one <laughs> we need to be on a tack uh, on a correct tack like uh, not uh, yeah. less than two minutes to heal uh, to, yeah. to trim by a heel and everything so if we turn around now Yep. Because everybody wants to be up here and uh, yep. I prefer, uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, but we have one. Okay, let's... Uh, you have space, let's... yeah. Be careful. Oh, okay. Oh, where is the boat?
did that.
attacking fighting the first part and uh, now it's a point of a strategical decision to be more close to the shore or uh, to separate with the shore and go a little bit uh, to the bay uh, searching for uh, uh, wind shift uh, more to, to the north. We have a bit of trouble here with the wind because we have a bit, uh, it's very choppy sea. Uh, we don't have any power, so perhaps we should just keep it a bit. So here we have uh, a and uh, it's a very nice uh, area. It's like a boiling water. It's uh, gonna be when you're sailing it. Uh, the current uh, brings the boat force back, and uh, depending on uh, what time you pass it there. So uh, right now we have uh, this uh, place here. And, uh, Waypoint, and uh, then it's a question: uh, shall we go close to that one, or shall we go further out? We are approaching La Plata, uh, and now we got the wind shift uh, to hoist uh, Janak. It's a big, big hot zero. Okay, Mickey, do you want to talk about the passing radio sign <laughs> and uh, what happened to us? I think it's a big shame on us. <laughs> well, actually, it's like a roulette. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Uh, we had a number of boats where we uh, overtook them and then they overtook us. And it was a bit of... Uh, the wind was uh, changing like 50 degrees each time. And uh, sometimes it was very good to be close to the shore. And sometimes it was the worst thing, or the worst place you could be was to be at close to the shore. So uh, the funny thing is that um, it looked like uh, we had a good speed uh, towards the shore, and then we started to go there, and then um, it was a big uh, blackout of wind. And then uh, everybody who seemed to be in the total wrong position before, they were all by a sudden in the right position. Fuck Ipers, fuck Ipers, what to say. But uh, but now we are uh, with a big spinnaker and trying to catch up and uh, be better. Another day, everyone got sleep during this uh, night and morning, and uh, now we are making housework, <laughs> let's say, uh, charging batteries. Uh, everyone had lunch. Mm. <laughs> the last lunch. Or... <laughs> uh, the last lunch, yes. Yeah, well, I think both of us forgot to make sure we had extra gas bottles, so. There's no more hot food, no more coffee. Okay. It's okay for me, but Miki, <laughs> he used for first half of a day same amount of gas as for me for race for four days. <laughs> this is why. Yeah, I was making one uh, hot tea and uh, one dinner. Two. Yeah, yeah, okay, it was the breakfast as well. Yeah, was, uh, and two before. times tea. <laughs> Two times tea and two, uh, one breakfast and one dinner. Yeah. yeah, this is my uh, restaurant for uh, yeah. four days with hot water. Yeah, this is the whole night. <laughs> <Rough and good. laughs> yeah, uh, really, we did not have time to buy uh, gas. We knew it will be uh, over, but. Yeah, well, we forgot actually to. Uh, I did not forget. I uh, just did not uh, have time. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And regarding the position to the race, uh, we think we now took uh, almost uh, most close to shore position. Everyone are far away from shore, but we are more close. Doing uh, shorter 
road, I think, but risking to have less wind. Yeah, that's a bit of it. Well, we don't know. We see that uh, the boats further out have a bit more wind, uh, but they are also. Uh, but we, all, I mean, the wind picked up for us as well, and they were also lacking wind. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. Actually, we have now um, 60 miles left to go to Ilia. And uh, behind that island, that's a place where everybody has to be. So we have to take that island to, to starboard. So um, that will be a good position. Well, I mean, a good point to see how we are doing. Uh, because then uh, the fleet will be gathering a little bit. And we can probably see most of them on the again. Yeah, we see a lot of boats around us, uh, more far in the sea. Uh, not so many <laughs> more uh, close to the shore, but we see them. It's very difficult to compare the speed and uh, compare the angles because wind is uh, shifting uh, its oscillations uh, all the time, like 15-20 um, degrees, sometimes even more. So it's very, very difficult to compare now. Yeah, and I think we had a little bit earlier this morning, it was, uh, we had very good speed, uh, doing probably 12, 13 knots. Uh, so it was really fun uh, playing in the waves. And then uh, all by a sudden someone turned off the fan, and uh, when that happened, uh, yeah, it was really no wind at all. And then it looked like the people, or the boats further out had more wind. So some of the boats next to us, or the one that we just overtook, uh, they jived, went out, uh, and uh, it would be interesting to see if they did the right thing or if we actually did the right thing to be sticking on to the, to the market. Yeah. Strategy is not easy. <laughs> uh, but that's what's the fun of it. So we're kind of, I think we're like three hours after the routing, we're a little bit stuck in the rusty sign. And uh, so we had a first lovely day at sea, a very nice breeze, and uh, now it's uh, the sunset. Um, not really yet, but uh, soon. And uh, if you see here, uh, I don't know if you can see it in the screen, but we have a bunch of uh, a group of boats uh, just uh, below the sun, so it looks very nice. And um, yeah, it's very excited. Um, so after running in the year, we had some more 75 miles down to uh, just the entrance into uh, Bordeaux. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this night. It's gonna be very nice. BXA buoy and uh, this is our sister ship just in front of us uh, so we will try to get him on our way back and uh, we are on the fourth position and uh, here is the buoy BXA this is the buoy BXA, uh, the rounding, uh, the sudden rounding of uh, the Fawcett race 2021. Uh, so far we have seen three boats in front of us, and uh, so basically we are number four. And uh, we'll see if we can catch up uh, one of them, I'm sure we can do. Uh, the two others are very, very fast new boats, so we will see. Not so wind, a bit of wave, it 
it's okay, but I think we are very far behind on the routing, so we cannot trust to our notes, but in roadbook we have uh, much more information, and uh, the strategy for now is to keep going stubborn stuck, uh, and to do speed, speed, speed as much as it's possible, and then we expect uh, winds to probably uh, veer a little bit and uh, decrease, uh, and uh, later, 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 uh, passing again the uh, point of return uh, to increase and uh, be much stronger, like 25 knots. But it will be later, and we will see where we end up because right now it's very, very difficult to predict uh, how far we will uh, uh, follow the routing in reality. Le PC court, c'est ce que vous pouvez me donner, les horaires complets s'il vous plaît pour les deux arrivées. Je répète pour contrôle, le 787 à 10h15 50 secondes et le 800 à 10h30 57 secondes. Ok, uh, it was done, it yeah. was excellent. And what's your first and maybe 
uh, more strong uh, emotion on these race. So, uh, for me, I don't know, it was uh, fighting with myself all the way. I don't know, it was like something, <laughs> uh, something very difficult. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, all your life is fighting with yourself, yes? Yes, and this, and this night was especially. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it was hard. For me, it was, uh, the race was hard. Yeah, it was very simple because you took all the hard part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, actually, yeah, I think we were handling uh, equally much, but uh, you did a bit more of uh, the work uh, because you know the boat. The heavy work, like massage uh, to oh, start things no. from side to side. Yeah, I was a massage too, but you were massage more. Okay. Well, yeah, well, I would say it's fantastic. Uh, my first uh, real uh, mini race. So, uh, yeah, I've been doing some uh, products before, but. Uh, Nice. Yeah. And, and nice to sail with you again. Yeah, it, it was a few years back we sailed together. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Mickey, yeah. Mickey I was, uh, yes, he, he can talk uh, with no stop. <laughs> this is why I need to interrupt yeah. him sometimes. Yeah. And uh, for Mickey, it was a really first race on the Mini. He was aiming for uh, to do some races since long, but always something happening, all the time. And finally, you are in the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but I've been sailing a few other things. Okay, uh, what uh, had happened in the beginning of the race? It was practically the last. Yep, uh, we had uh, some strategy, <laughs> we had uh, some <laughs> tactics and everything went wrong because uh, the weather was not the uh, same as predicted. Uh, we could, uh, I think we could uh, get out from the bay quite good, but we were stopped at uh, uh, in the strong current. Uh, yes, in a strong current, and the situation for everyone uh, was the same. Uh, wherever you go, there is no wind or wind against you. Very, very slow wind, and after yeah. it's finished, and uh, these boats are moving, and you are here after you move here, <laughs> but these boats are moving now, and, da -da 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 -da. Yeah. and uh, I think the lucky one uh, could. Uh, get out of this first and uh, we were not lucky we were doing like whatever yeah but i mean uh, you could clearly see that it was uh, no wind and there were patches of wind and uh, someone was in a patch of wind and it looks like they, they're gonna do it and then there was no wind and um, so there was a little bit like a like a game uh, or like a lot so, of so no 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 strategy yes no strategy yeah but i mean you uh, you couldn't have strategy but because, after uh, yeah but after we could uh, after we gain strategy. a lot of uh, places very very fast but then we had the strategy and um, yeah uh, when we had strategies <laughs> <laughs> okay and uh how is canopus uh everything was okay with the boat or not Canopus uh, behaved very, very good, very, very stable, uh, but at the end we broke uh, uh, yeah, the deck. On the, yeah, yeah the, the deck, the, the deck where the uh, tiller accent mm -hmm. is through, and uh, after under the deck it's connecting to autopilot uh, and sensors, etc. So uh, the, uh, there is a kind of fitting uh, in the deck, uh, and uh, it looks like it's broke the round. So we, but that, that's not a big uh, thing, and it broke uh, not far from the finish line actually. But then uh, um, she's a lovely boat. She's, okay. Uh, that's him. <laughs> okay, uh, well done guys. I think you have uh, to have some meal yes. and some rest, yeah? Yes, and in France boats are made. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>